Well, here we are nearly at the end of 2020. And what a year this has been. I mean, think about it this time last year. Could you have imagined that we would be telling the kinds of stories we'll be telling for, well, generations now about what has happened in 2020? And for Robert and me as you've been aware throughout this year, it's been quite a ride. Of course, COVID has affected everyone in ways that we just could not have imagined. And right in March, when the COVID was starting to uh, take on a life of its own here in this country and around the world, Robert received his first of two cancer diagnoses uh, this year, unrelated to each other. Melanoma, that all went well. We were so thankful he had two surgeries and things were looking really good. And then he started having some other symptoms and we went to a different set of doctors to get that checked and found out, lo and behold, there's a different kind of cancer, lymphoma. And he's, of course, as, as I've shared with you, going through chemo now through Christmas to deal with that. Thus far, the reports are really good and we're so grateful. But along the way, there have been points where we had no idea. In fact, at one point, they kept us in the hospital overnight because they said, if this is acute leukemia, they had to rule that out. If it is, then we got to get you to Grand Rapids and... Well, we would have been planning a funeral right now instead of planning for Christmas. And uh, so we're really, really grateful. But when we started doing the first set of chemo treatments back in early September, I just had on my heart, how can we honor the Lord with this journey that we're on? And how can I encourage my sweet husband? And how can we encourage each other in what has become just a, a difficult season? And I'm sitting in this sunroom in our home. That's what we used to call it. Now we call it the gratitude room because I got this idea. Let's take these little post-it notes and we have all different colors here. We have this basket of post-it notes and all different colored pens and each day, uh, usually the last thing in the evening, we sit down and grab some post-it notes and a pen and whoever is with us, our nephew is here with us right now, Robert's daughters have been to visit, whoever's with us, they grab some too. And we just write down something from that day that we're thankful for. So we started over on this side of the room and we started coming down the window frames and then we moved around the room. We already had a Thanksgiving sign in everything give thanks at the top of the room. That was already there. So this has now become our gratitude room and our gratitude wall. And we've written down the names of friends who've called us or written or emailed to say they were praying for us. We've written down days that people brought meals or sent meals, uh, the days that we got good reports. We also said, as we were getting these different, uh, different medical reports, we're not just going to thank the Lord on the good days and for the good things, but we're also purposing that we're going to thank the Lord for the hard things and on the hard days. So we set out on this journey. We said we're going to make it a journey of gratitude because heaven rules. We've said that to each other maybe a thousand times. And God is good and God is faithful and God can be trusted to write this and every chapter of our story. So now as I walk into this room and I look around and I see now hundreds of these little post-it notes, each one of them with a date and something very personal that we're thankful for, for that day. It's just a reminder of how many blessings we have and how kind the Lord has been to us. In fact, you remember that old gospel song, count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. So in a year of political unrest, racial unrest, cultural challenges, COVID challenges that are continuing to this day with spikes in our area at this moment, and cancer times two. Say, so how can you find things to thank the Lord for? Listen, gratitude has been a life preserver for our souls. It has kept us from going under more days than I can count. And I know that Gratitude does the same for any child of God who instead of just looking around and saying, what, what is there bad about this day? Or just listening to the news and taking our cues from that, we've lifted our eyes upward and we've said, Lord, we're grateful. And we've tried to name those blessings and to give thanks for them individually. So as we come into this season, I just wanna say how thankful I am to the Lord for his kindnesses, his mercies to us, 
And each of those blessings is a reason to thank Him. And this gratitude wall is, I don't know if we'll keep those post-it notes up forever, but gratitude, a gratitude wall has been written in our hearts and we just wanna give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Thank you, Lord.